Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel, thank you very much for watching and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every time I upload new content. In this video I'm going to talk about what I believe is the best budget wide angle lens. Let's get right into it. So the lens that I'm going to talk about today, it is the legendary and fantastic beast of a tank, the Tokina 11 to 16 mil f 2.8. Now, first I just want to say that this is a lens for crop sensor cameras, and I believe it is available for Canon EF mount and also for the Nikon mount. Now this lens is an old lens, it, I believe it has been around for around 10 years, if not more. The best part of it all is that it is a constant f2.8 aperture. Yes, you heard me right. It is not variable, it is constant. Now, why is this important? Well, it is so important because while you are at the widest at 11 mil and zoomed in at all the way to 16 mil, the aperture won't change. So you will get that f2.8 all the time. Now, this is a key factor on why this lens is so amazing. And it's because one of the biggest challenge, challenges, if not the biggest challenge that I have faced being a photographer and a filmmaker, it's low light. And this lens, by being an f2.8, will give you a fantastic performance on low light situations. Now, let me tell you something. This is not the first lens that I bought when I first started. The first lens that I bought was the Canon 10 to 18 mil f 4.5 to 5.6. Now, don't get me wrong, that's a really good lens. However, only good when you're shooting outside and you have good light. Because of that variable aperture, it will get really dark. And you're talking about that it begins at 4.5. This lens stays all the way, all the time at f2.8. Let's talk about some of the disadvantages of this lens. One of the disadvantages is that it's a very heavy lens. It could be an advantage as well because it's built like a tank, it's metal and it's heavy and it will take a beating, trust me. The disadvantage of it being heavy is that even though you can mount it on a smaller body, like the Canon 200D for example, it feels a little bit out of balance because on those smaller cameras, the lens will actually be heavier than the body. So you want to have, I believe for best performance, a bit of a bigger body, a chunkier body, at least like the Canon 80D, and that feels really comfortable. Now, the other disadvantage, and if you watch in the past any reviews about this lens, it's that the zoom is a bit noisy. So yeah, you will hear zzz, 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 when it's trying to find the focus. Now, is that a thing that I care really? No, not really. Does it affect my videos? No, not really. Let me tell you why. One, because when you are a filmmaker, most of the times, if not all of the time, you will be using manual focus. Unless you are filming an interview like this. However, for interviews like this, or I mean more like a talking head type of video or a testimonial video, you will be using probably another focal length lens like more like a 50 mil. And with this lens, it's fairly easy to get in focus because it's so wide. That issue can be easily solved by using a lap mic or a shotgun mic. I have filmed a video with this lens, me talking, and I actually didn't hear the, the autofocus. Now, you won't find anything like this lens even if you try to look for it. Canon doesn't make them, Nikon doesn't make them. And why is that? Because they don't want you to have a good performing lens on a crop sensor camera because eventually they want you to upgrade to, to a full frame camera and spend more money on a wide angle lens full frame. If you wanna buy a native lens, you won't find anything like, like this. The reason they made it 11 to 16, it really will become with Canon with a 1.6 crop, 18 to 25, around that. And as you will see on full frame cameras, a lot of the wide angle lenses are either 
16 to 24 or 16 to 35 so it will give you that equivalent of what you're after i have used this lens for around 18 months now i bought it used and it has performed fantastically i have shot landscapes i have shot real estate photography real estate video and i have not had one issue with this lens it is absolutely incredible the best part of it is the price now because it's an older lens you can pick it up used for a very good price and most likely because this lens is built like a tank there will be nothing wrong with it now i'm not saying that you know don't be careful and don't do your research when you buy a lens you have to be very careful especially when buying used however you can pick up this lens used for I have seen them advertise on on marketplace for about $500 now if you offer a say $300 $350 you can probably pick it up for that I bought this about 18 months ago for around $300 I think $350 I'm talking Australian dollars so for that price and to get that performance when you are uh, you're starting out or if you just have a crop sensor camera this lens is the way to go now that's it for this video thanks for watching again and i'll see you next time Woo!